Hey guys, Congresswoman Kat Kamak here, and it is a doozy of a day. It is a mess of a day, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, I am seriously crunched for time, so I'm going to try to run through this as quickly as possible, but I thought it was very, very important that you heard directly from me what is going on in Washington, how this entire process is broken, and what you guys can do about it. So, um... Let's start from the beginning. Nancy Pelosi has three bills that she wants us to vote on today. Today. Okay, there's three bills. And I actually wrote this down on the board here, right? We've got a CR, we have a, uh, an omnibus, and the Russian oil ban. There are three bills that she wants us to vote on. The CR is the continuing resolution which will fund government as we know it for an additional four days. That's what they want us to vote on for an additional four days so that they can go to their retreat in Philadelphia because they have hired, who did they hire? DJ Jazzy Fresh, which hip? Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy Jeff. Oh, the Democrats hired DJ Jazzy Jeff. Is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah? yeah. Um, to perform at their retreat in Philadelphia. So instead of doing the people's business, they need to take off tonight for Philadelphia to do their little retreat. So let me tell you what has happened. <laughs> These three bills, which will likely get split into four bills, were dropped on us at 1.22 a.m. 1.22 a.m. this morning. Actually, my entire team, and you can see we are in the office. Say hey, Larry. Hey. Um, we're in here and going through the legislative text. We were up until one o'clock in the morning waiting for them to drop this text so we could start reading, okay? How many how many pages is just the omnibus bill? 2,700. 20, okay, Josh right here, legislative director. 2,700 pages for just one of these bills, just one. And you can see we have them stacked up here. The team has divvied them out and we've been going through deciphering all the crap that's in here because Lord knows there is so much garbage and pork tucked into it. So much pork, in fact, that the team actually went and for lunch is having barbecue. So that is an aside. This gets dropped on us at 1.22 a.m. Why is that relevant? Because at this point, we're now, what, 12 hours, almost to the minute. 12 hours we've had this legislative text. They're expecting us to vote on this legislative text today. Now, Clause 11, in the rules package, and you're probably wondering what the heck is the rules package? The rules package is what governs how the, the, the process by which the House operates. Members of Congress are required to have 20 or 72 hours to read the bills. At this point, we now have 12. Now, Nancy Pelosi is so sneaky, she thinks she can bend time. I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see. Check this out. You see that screen? They have been holding this vote open for now three hours, and it is a motion to adjourn. They're using a 15 minute vote, that should have closed within 15 minutes. It has now been open for three plus hours. Nancy Pelosi is literally bending time to her will up here so that she can hold this vote open so that they can then go continue to work on these three pieces of legislation of which our team is now sifting through and we are reading. Why is all this relevant? One, this process is broken. Two, the total cost of these bills is going to be over a trillion dollars. You and me and our families, our kids, our grandkids, we are going to be paying for this bill and no one has read it. No one has read it. If you don't have time to read the bill, you shouldn't be voting on the bill because you are responsible for every little thing that's in it. This is insane. So, here's what my ask of you is. Call the Capitol switchboard, and I'm going to get you the number right now. Call the Capitol switchboard and tell them that you want to speak to Nancy Pelosi or Steny Hoyer, and you want them to give us the 72 hours to read the bill. I read fast, guys, but I don't read that fast. And we have a very, very intelligent team. There's no way that all of us can read this bill in time. So that capital switchboard number is 202. Hold on a second, I'm writing this down for you. 
What is it? 202? 224. 224. 321. Yep. 31. 21. 21. All right. All right. There's that. 202, 224, 3121. That is the capital switchboard. Call that number and say you want to talk to Steny Hoyer or Nancy Pelosi and demand that members have 72 hours to read the bill. Members are all across the Capitol right now trying to read this bill, comparing notes. It is a disaster from top to bottom. And trust me, there's a lot of stuff in these bills that we have found, but I am reserving judgment on these bills until we can really dig into everything that is in there. Because as you know, just because the title of a bill sounds good doesn't mean that it is actually good. Remember the NASA bill? The NASA bill was actually the voting rights takeover where they wanted to force us to pay for AOC's campaign and give 16 year olds the right to vote and ballot harvest and God knows what else. Never trust the name of these bills, guys. There's so much garbage in there. We are digging into it, reading what is in it so you don't have to because that is what you pay us for. Call this number, I'm gonna flip it around again. 202-224-3121. We need 72 hours to read the bill. And like I said, we're in here right now in our office. We are reading the bill and we're digging into it. And I will do another video talking about what is in these bills. So you guys know exactly, exactly what is in the CR, what is in the Russia ban. Um, Cause there's some things that I can tell you right now we've already read and I have some real big concerns about, but we will do a whole separate video on the Russia oil ban bill. We certainly will be digging into the omnibus bill. We will certainly be talking about the CR, but just remember Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats wanted to go to their retreat in Philadelphia. And let's not forget that they hired a professional DJ to perform for them. So they don't want to miss that. Heaven forbid governing and running the country get in the way of that. They are literally forcing us to vote on a bill within 24 hours of them introducing it, of which they drop that at 1.22 a.m. It is timestamped. That is a verifiable fact. That is not fake news. And all of this is because of a political agenda. So call that switchboard. Tell Steny. Tell Nancy. We need 72 hours to read this bill. That will help us get the time that we need in order to really understand what is in this legislation. So thank you, guys. I will be following up with all of the stuff that is in this bill. As I said, we've got the whole team in here, the ledge team. And as you can see, even Madison, hold on, I'm gonna flip around so you can see her. Maddie, Madison's even helping with the bills. So we got the full crew in the house. We will be here probably all night voting. Stay tuned, more videos to come. Appreciate you guys. Give that capital uh, switchboard a call. And again, there is the number. Awesome. Thanks, guys.